I don't always use my slow and sear, but when I do, it's not for slow nor sear. Hello, I'm Big Lou, and you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And what I want to do today is bake. What? Men don't bake. And that's right. That's, you know, my wife does the baking. I just burn stuff with fire. I'm a bake on my Weber using my slow and sear. Yeah, I got one of those slow and sear things. It's the old one, the slow and sear plus. And uh, I've got ways to sear steaks and stuff. And I've got ways to cook slow. I got an ugly drum smoker. So I don't always use my slow and sear for slow and slow or for hot and uh, fast searing and stuff. But I do like to do the hot and fast baking and roasting temperatures with it. You put a chimney of coals in there and you can keep that thing at about 325 to 350. Pretty, pretty easy. And it cooks rather even. So when I'm baking or roasting out on my grill, I like to use the slow and sear. So that's what we're doing. Hey, we're doing a pina colada cake. Yeah, I know the songs in your head, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, but you didn't know this. Yeah, you probably did because you are watching my channel and that makes you cool. You know, the show, the song's name is Escape. Then like the pina colada song was like tagged onto it, you know? Anyway, we're going to do pina colada cake. Basically, it's pineapple upside down cake with coconut. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it pina colada cake. She likes pina coladas. Hey, I'm having fun with this one. Showing you uh, why men probably shouldn't bake. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. All right, let's talk about the ingredients. You need some moist vanilla cake mix. I'm using Betty's brand. You can use uh, Mrs. Hines' brand if you want. I don't know how to Sarah Lee make that stuff, but she just make the frozen stuff. Whatever brand you want to use, it's your baby. You spank it. I do want to tell you whatever brand you get won't have enough vanilla in it. Everything that says it has vanilla in it doesn't have enough except for Vallo Milk uh, chocolate cups. Those things are delicious, man. Those are the best marshmallow chocolate cups. But you don't need that for this recipe, do we? You need half a dozen eggs. You need some brown sugar. I would say at least two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. Kind of eyeball, we sprinkle in the brown sugar on the bottom of the pan so you use enough to kind of cover the pan. All right, you need a stick and a half of butter. We're gonna add in more vanilla because I love vanilla. I like vanilla so much I even put it in baked beans. Uh, that's why you need vanilla. Everything that says it has vanilla in it, you need to add more vanilla to it. Need some uh, coconut milk. We need a, a, about, I think a cup per box, whatever it says. Where it says water here on the box, one cup of water. That means we need two cups of um, coconut milk. I don't think this quite makes two cups, so we'll use a whole can. All right, and um, you need pineapples. If you use the pineapples in the can, you don't need the soda because you can use the pineapple juice from the can. Uh, since I'm using dried pineapple slices, we need pineapple soda. You need coconut because this is upside down pina colada cake. I've got the uh, shredded coconut there. Going to need a cup and a half to two cups of coconut. And um, you need a little bit of rum. I'm not a drinker, so this is just cheap white rum. If you want to use dark rum, uh, my inexperienced rum palate would uh, not be able to tell the difference if good rum or bad rum. Anyway, that's about a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon of uh, rum. The alcohol cooks out of this. All right, but it's pina colada cake. Got to have the rum. Don't substitute bourbon. Don't substitute gin. Um, rum is distilled from sugar cane. You need that rum flavor. You could use a rum ac extract if you wanted to. All right, and that's what we need to get started. So I've got to show you. we got to do these dried pineapple slices first. And we'll go out and light the grill. All right, if you're using canned pineapple slices, you can kind of skip this step. Um, that's what the dried pineapple slices look like. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the bottom of this uh, 12 inch skillet that we're gonna put the cake in. Because we're cooking it out on the grill, so we gotta use cast iron, or at least I think you gotta use cast iron. Heck, you don't wanna use cast iron. It's your baby, you spank it. All right. Um, Right there, like that, like a roll on the inside. I'll speed the camera up at this point. All right, I got enough just about to cover the bottom as much as we need to cover there. And what we're gonna do now is just pick these up and throw them in a bowl. All right, pick them up, throw them in a bowl, and pour pineapple soda over them until they're covered, until they all can be soaking in the pineapple soda. Now, you wanna know how long 
to soak these in pineapple soda. Well, as long as it takes me to go out and light a chimney of coal, start the grill thrill, all right? Uh, I gotta go get my grill ready to go. Come back in, those should be sort of rehydrated with pineapple soda. All right, I went outside, got the grill clean, chimney of coals are going. That's what our uh, pineapples are doing, soaking in the uh, pineapple juice. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start mixing up our cake batter because we don't need that right now. We're gonna need some of it here in a minute. All right, so I got a glass bowl. That way you can see what's happening on the inside so you know I'm not lying to you when I'm mixing this up. All right, now you wanna open up your box. So you just get your box cutter like that and you just open it. Would you look at that? Look what they did. They put that in a bag inside the box. Why don't they just sell the stuff in a bag? All right. We're gonna uh, open it up and just dump it in the bowl. We're gonna dump the other one in here too. All right, because we need two of these. And you know what? I'll dump the other one in there off camera because this is not going too smoothly. Uh-uh. Get it all in there. All right. All right, I got the other bag open. Now, have you figured out why they sell the bags inside a box? Because nobody says bag cake mix, they say box cake mix. And those housewives wouldn't know what to do if they had to start saying, did you make that from a bag? Instead of, did you make that from a box? That's why cake mix has to be sold in a box, even though it comes in a bag. Glad you know that now. All right, look at that. We got it all in there. But remember it said French vanilla, but that's not enough vanilla. So what we're gonna do, now look, vanilla comes with its own uh, measuring thing. And we're gonna add in about a cap full a more vanilla, because I like vanilla. Now, if you don't like vanilla, remember it's your baby, you you know what, I'm not gonna say that this time. If you don't like vanilla, what's wrong with you, man? That's what I'm gonna say right there. Everything else is, it's your baby, you spank it. All right, now we need a cup. I said earlier, two cups. No, you need one cup, I, uh, because we're using a cup of the pineapple juice too. Remember the cake mix says use water, a cup of water for each box of cake mix. We're gonna use one cup of this coconut mix and one cup of that pineapple soda. Um, like I said, if you're using uh, canned pineapples, you know, then let's pull it right here. There's a line right there. It tells me if I got one cup or not. That way I'll know. Just guesstimate, you know. All right, there's one cup of coconut milk. Get out my redneck spanking spoon. You know why? Because this is my baby and I'm going to spank it. All right, here we go. Sorry if we're going inside of you like that, but kind of a bad camera angle. Get it all up out of there. Get all that coconut milk out of there and get it into this cake mix. Just like that right there. All right, let's move on. Next step, if you didn't get all the coconut milk out your little cup measuring thing, that's okay, because we're gonna put the rum right in there. All right, now, we're gonna take this pineapple soda that we're soaking this in, and we're gonna pour it until it fills up one cup. So, and I spilt it, we're not supposed to spill it now. Oh, don't do that, your wife get mad at you. All right? Anyway, there's still enough in there to soak these things. They're doing fine, all right? We're gonna dump this into there too. So now we got the pineapple soda and the rum in there. Look, let me get a paper towel, wipe all this spilled stuff up before I get caught, and uh, we'll be right back. Now, I know some people say, you know, hey, you don't need to say be right back because you blink your eye, but I didn't want you to notice, oh, the spill's cleaned up because I turned the camera off and cleaned it up, all right? Now, what we want to do now is we want to put in, excuse me, it's right here, that butter, we've uh, radioactivated it in the microwave. Don't radioactivate it too much till it's boiling because it all separates and it'll be too hot. You just kind of want it. See, I can kind of touch it right there and it, it's just about room temperature at this point. It's not real hot because I did that earlier. You don't want to cook your cake mix before you cook your cake mix. So we're gonna put that stick of butter, that's one stick, right there. And you know what, we want to get it all out too. Get it all out too with the redneck spanking spoon. Because it's my baby, I'll spank it. Now, we're gonna crack all six of these eggs, put them in there, just like that. Don't get a shell, I'm gonna do the other five eggs, and we'll be right back. All right, I know people say, hey, don't say be right back, but I didn't want you to go, how did you get those other five eggs in there? Because the next thing you see was I got five eggs in there. Now, you ever see the movie Jaws? They said, there, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. Well, I think I might need a bigger bowl, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this mixed up 
And um, once it's mixed up, I will meet you out at the grill for the grill thrill. Guess what? I do need a bigger bowl. All right. That jaws mix in here. So we're just gonna dump it in there and I'm gonna get it all mixed up, okay? Get on out of there. Use a bigger bowl, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, I got it into the bigger bowl and I'm glad I did too because I left out one key ingredient. You want probably, you know, half a cup of coconut in there. That's a uh, half a cup, no more, no less. All right, yeah, that, that's it right there. All right, a uh, handful, whatever. How much coconut you want to put in? It's up to you. You know why? It's your baby. You spank it. And now we're going to mix this up. I got a bowl big enough to mix this, all right? So I'm getting it all mixed up, blended thoroughly, blended together. Maybe I'll give you a scene of what it looks like once it's blended, but you don't have to sit here and watch me stir it. You can use an electric mixer if you want, or you can just get your redneck spanking spoon and start spanking it. All right, I got it all mixed up. Those clunks in there, that's that lovely bunch of coconut. Yeah, I know. Soy loco en el coco. All right. She likes piña coladas. I'll save you that part. All right, we're going to go out. Jimmy and Cole should be ready. Let's get started. All right. I got this square chimney, and I really like it. It's bigger than a Weber chimney, so I don't fill it up all the way. But that's plenty good enough. And, um... We're going to throw in some uh, wood chips. I'm using these Tabasco wood chips today. I like these. I think that uh, Tabasco oak barrel will give the cake a nut a nice, a nice flavor. Because the Tabasco um, barrels were once Jack Daniels barrels. So, you can use whatever kind of wood chips you want or skip the wood chip part. Get the grill in there like that. All right, you want to put your... Um, You skill it down. The slow and sear cooks real even, y'all. But we are probably gonna turn it anyway, just to be on the safe side. And we're gonna let that butter melt. Cover it up and let that butter melt. We'll be right back after it melts. You don't have to go anywhere, but you'll go, dang, that melted fast if I don't tell you we'll be right back. So that's why I say that. All right, that butter ought to be good and melty by now. It's close enough. Close enough. So, get it all on the sides real well, because that helps grease the sides, because you don't want it sticking on the sides. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brown sugar. I got about that much. I don't know how much I'm gonna use. We're gonna put it in there. We're gonna get it all mixed up. I'm gonna put it all in there. Why not? Now we wanna get this brown sugar all melty and gooey and mixed in with the butter. All right, what I did this time is I have moved this right over the coals to help that sugar melt. I'm gonna move it off the coals here in a minute because I don't want that sugar to burn. Go ahead and move it off. We're getting about where I want it to be. All right, it's kind of in, in an even liquid layer there. It's not perfect, but it's close. Now what we're gonna do is just take these pineapple slices and just Line the bottom of this pan as they were earlier. They've been soaking in that pineapple soda for at least half an hour now, maybe a little longer. Add the light coals, mix everything up, at least half an hour, but not as long as 45 minutes. All right, all the pineapple rings are in there. Now we take some more of this coconut and we just sprinkle it all around. We wanna make sure that's hot, man. Just sprinkle some of that coconut right there on top of it like that. And you could do this the other way around if you wanted to put the coconut on top of the brown sugar. I just don't want that coconut to burn too much. Now we dump this in. This whole thing a cake batter. Just dump it all in there. Now remember, we did not follow the instructions on the box. We didn't use water and vegetable oil. We used butter and we used the pineapple juice and coconut milk instead. But you wanna get it all in there and get it smoothed around, okay? Okay. 
Don't let the kids lick the spoon. Remember, you got rum in here that hadn't yet cooked out. Actually, it's not that much. So whatever you want to do, just telling you. Uh-oh, spilt some on the coals. I think that's just about got it. So we're going to smooth this out like that and just let it bake there. That's going to be on the bottom anyway because it's upside down cake. Cover it up. Let it go. Ride your vents. You want it to be about 350. All right. All right, let's take a look at it. I got this little fancy thing from uh, Wilson. Stick it in there. If it comes out clean, it's done. It ain't done. So we keep, keep it covered up. Since it ain't done, we're gonna go ahead and turn it like this. Spin it around. Dead nab it. That's why men don't bake. That's why men don't bake. That ain't no good. Cover it back up, let it keep on going. All right, it's probably been on for about 45 minutes or so. My wife said, you gonna stick that in the top? I've already done it once. She said, why don't you use a toothpick? People see the big old hole in the top. I said, it's pineapple upside down cake. Ah, uh, it's pretty close. Yeah, see, that's cakey. I'm calling it done. Calling it done. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this, this thing, you want to go around the edge because you want it to be able to come out. Wasn't done earlier, but sure is done now. See, that's all that feels done. So I'm gonna get my glove on, take it inside, and I'll see you there. Once again, I wanna go around the edges, because this is cast iron, and even though I just brought it in a few minutes ago, it could have, uh, cast iron stays hot, and it could have stayed and stuck. All right, grab it, flip it over on the plate, like that. Boom. Get in close on that, Eli. Pineapple, coconut, pina colada, upside down cake. We're gonna let it cool for a minute and we're gonna cut into it. If you like pina coladas, then make you a cake. If you watch Big Lou's channel, you'll see why men shouldn't bake. All right, well, I've already tried it. Yo, it looks like it's falling apart because it's made with that pineapple soda, but it's really quite moist. Or not really dry. Mm -mm. And that sauce on top, that brown sugar and butter and coconut, that's good. Now these are dried pineapples. Uh, I've done it with the dried pineapples that coated in the powdered sugar. That worked. These these are a bit leathery, but they're absolutely delicious because they soaked in that pineapple soda. Delicious, you gotta chew them, but they're delicious. Mm. Anyway, I had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. And uh, it, delicious, delicious. Pina colada upside down cake, pineapple upside down cake with coconut in it. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Yeah, see. Soy loco en el coco.